Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we are going to discuss about the Marshallian demand function and its properties. So, what is happening that we are, are using the utility function and we have a specific bullet constraint and by using the Lagrange multiplier, we are going to produce our uh, x and y Marshallian demand function. Just like we discussed the utility maximization, mein, uh, so the calculated demand function of the x and y basically it is called the Marshallian demand function. We are taking here the problem of the Cobb Douglas function and it's very famous function in the utility maximization. And we have the x power alpha and y power beta. So, first we will set up the Lagrange multiplier, and in the Lagrange multiplier, we will plug here the utility function. Then we will have a plus lambda and this is the, our uh, budget constraint and we will put in the reverse form that means m minus pxx minus pyy and we have three choice variable basically x, y and lambda. So we have three choice variable ki respect se partial derivative lena hoga. and when we will set up the partial derivative so we will have the three equation equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 very simple we are using the partial derivative and the power x uh, is alpha and alpha will come in the base and the alpha minus 1 and beta will be considered as a constant so this is this uh, the, the, the will, will come as it is in the multiplication and when this term will be multiplied with respect to x, so the answer will be the minus lambda px. Fine. Then the second step, we are taking this equation with respect to the partial derivative with respect to the y. And the power of the y is equal to the beta. And the beta will come in the base and then x power alpha y power beta minus 1. And this equation is going to be uh, taking the partial derivative with respect to the y. So these two terms will be uh, zero because these are the constant and this term has the y so we will have the minus lambda py. So these are two equations and then again this equation will be uh, taking derivative with respect to lambda so the answer is m minus pxx minus pyy. Now we are going to be comparing between equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 and 2 Simple, we are going to compare it and lambda uh, alpha x power alpha minus 1 y power beta is equal to lambda px divided by beta x power alpha y power beta minus 1 divided by lambda py simple the alpha will be cancelled out and we will solve it and when we will solve so alpha by comparing all these things so simple uh, we are just uh, using the indices method and uh, humne uh, jo x hamare paas denominator mein maujood tha usko upar likhe gaye and then the powers will be added so we will have the alpha minus 1 minus alpha and then the y power beta minus 1 minus beta and we will solve this thing so we will get basically uh, again the power of the y will be the minus 1 and the power of the x will be the minus 1 so we will take it the positive and the denominator's value will come in the numerator and numerator value will come in the denominator. So the answer will be the alpha y beta x is equal to px over py. When you are getting this equation, so uh, we tried the last time that, so this condition will be solved for the x and solved for the y. And we are using the uh, simple algebraic method and so answer of the x will be x is equal to alpha y py beta px and the y is equal to px x beta divided by alpha py 
these two figures will be uh, uh, plugged in the equation 3 to get basically the Marshallian demand function. So if m is equal to px x plus p y y so if we will plug the value of the x so we will get the y Marshallian demand function uh, so number one m is equal to p x and the value of the x is equal to alpha y y so p x x has been cancelled out and now we are taking the py py y common from these two terms so p y y as taking from the outside so remaining is alpha over beta plus 1 so simple we will take the lcm and p y y will be the outside so the answer will be the alpha plus beta divided by beta so this is the m is here and y is here so we will solve for the y so very simple m over py and if this term will go the other side of the equal so it will be beta over alpha plus beta and here will be a y this is basically a machine demand function and we will show it by m so this is very simple ये जो alpha and beta है ये हमारे पास basically जो elasticities थी जो हमने last time भी देखी थी कि वहाँ पर हमें one over four या three over four था so यहाँ पर हमने general drive किया है हम यहाँ पर एक function की shape में लेके आए हैं और हमारा function ये बता रहा है कि हमारे पास किसी किसी में भी कॉपलोलस फंक्शन हो उसकी कोई भी पावर हो वो हम यहाँ पर इजीली प्लाक करके विदिन द गिवन इनकम विदिन द प्राइस अगर चेंज होती है इनकम चेंज होती है या लास्ट चेंज होती है हम सिंपल एट एनी टाइम एट एनी एनी कंडीशन हम कंसर्वेशन ऑफ वाई विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मार्शल इन डिमांड फंक्श and if we are going to plug the y into so simple we plug the value of the y in the equation number 3 so we have px x py and we plug the value of the y here and the py is cancelled out with the py and then the pxx and pxx is common in the both terms so we are taking the outside and the remaining term will be the 1 plus beta over alpha simple we take the lcm of this thing and then what will be m is equal to pxx alpha plus beta over alpha so what happens here simple we have to solve for uh, uh, this equation solve for x and if we are going to solve this equation for the x so what is happening uh, simple we are basically dividing m into uh, px okay and this term is going to the other side so it is happening alpha over alpha plus beta and again we got the marginal demand function for commodity x by using the different values of the alpha and beta and income and prices of the x we may find the consumption of the commodity x so this is basically the marginal demand function of x marginal demand function of y agar aap n good use kar rahe hain aap also you will use the uh, lagrange multiple setup or aapke paas ek utility function होगा जिसमें x y z and further goods आसमें आ सकती हैं और इसी तरह से आपकी valid income constraint होगी और आप यही method use करके अपने machine and demand functions को जो है वो expand कर सकते हैं only this is the calculation method will be the conversion so now after this we will go for the software so this is basically the preliminary idea the basic idea which explain that what is the mechanism to calculate the machine and demand function
Now we comes on the properties of the Marshall and demand function. We calculated this Marshall and demand function by using the Lagrange multiplier. And we saw that these functions optimal consumption provide करते हैं given budget constraint में, but they have some specific properties. We उनको satisfy भी करते हैं. The first property is the basically the adding up restriction. These Marshall and demand function will satisfy the adding up restriction. Adding up restriction के मुराद ये होती है. कि जब हम इन्हें अपनी बजट कंस्टेंट में डालें तो ये उसको सेटिसफाई करें सो व्हाट इज़ द बेसिकली एडिंग ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शंस दैट इफ़ वी हैव दिस मार्शल इन डिमांड फंक्शन सो वी हैव बेसिकली पी एक्स एक्स प्लस पी वाई वाई सो इज इक्वल टू एम इफ़ वी आर गोइंग टू पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर सो हम पी एक्स में अगर डाल दें एम ओवर पी एक्स अल्फा ओवर अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस पी वाई एंड एम ओवर पी वाई एंड बीटा ओवर अल्फा प्लस बीटा सो बेसिकली इट विल इक्वल टू द एम वॉट इज हैपनिंग पी एक्स पी एक्स इज गोइंग टू बी कैंसल आउट पी एक्स पी वाई इज इक्वल टू गोइंग कैंसल आउट and then simply we have these value so m should be common and if we are taking the m common so what is happening we will take the lcm alpha plus beta and then it will be the alpha it will be the beta and is equal to the m so alpha plus alpha plus will be cancel out and the remaining m is equal to m so Marshall and demand function basically satisfy the adding of restriction. The second and most important uh, uh, assumption is basically the homogeneous and degree zero. Homogeneous से मुराद ये होता है कि अगर हम हमारे पास जो इसके अंदर variables हैं वो है m है और हमारे पास prices हैं. अगर हम prices को और income को एक स्पेसिफिक रेशो से इंक्रीज करें सो so, हमारी कंजम्पन पे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ना चाहिए सो मार्शल डिमांड फंक्शन बेसिकली सेटिस्फाई दिस कंडीशन व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर कि होमोजीनियस वो जब होगा कि जब हम उसकी प्राइसेस को और इनकम को जब आप एक पर सर्टेन लेवल से इंक्रीज करें तो इसके बाद वो अपना फंक्शन रिपीट कर दे अगर वो फंक्शन रिपीट कर रहा है विद इन स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू अलग उसके साथ कोई चीज़ वैल्यू जुड़ी हुई अलग है लेकिन अगर टोटल फंक्शन रिपीट हो जाता है तो बेसिकली फंक्शन इज होमोजीनियस लेकिन अगर उसकी जो हमने एक स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू उसमें ऐड की थी उससे उस उसको रेज किया था और अगर वो कैंसिल आउट हो जाती है उसकी पावर ज़ीरो हो जाती है यानी कि किसी चीज़ की पावर ज़ीरो उसका मतलब वो वन तो अगर वो ख़त्म हो जाती है तो दैट्स मीन कि वो फंक्शन होमोजीनियस भी है और डिग्री ज़ीरो भी है सो वी चेक डैट कि क्या मार्शल डिमांड फंक्शन होमोजीनियस और डिग्री ज़ीरो है या नहीं तो वी हैव द मार्शल डिमांड फंक्शन बेसिकली एक्स एम इज इक्वल टू एम ओवर पी एक्स एल्फा ओवर alpha plus beta so ab agar hum x m star bana lete hain and if we are increasing the income and prices with the lambda the lambda is a increasing factor basically so this is x m star so we are observing that whether x m or x m star if एक्स एम इज रिपीटिंग सो दैट्स मीन वो फंक्शन रिपीट कर रहा है तो वो होमोजीनियस हुआ लेकिन अगर उस पर से ये लैमडा गायब भी हो जाता है तो दैट्स मीन इट इज कॉल्ड द होमोजीनियस एंड डिग्री जीरो सो सिंपली द एम ओवर पी एक्स एंड एल्फा प्लस एल्फा ओवर एल्फा द फंक्शन इज रिपीटेड दस टू फिगर इफ विल बी सॉल्व so the if the lambda will go in the numerator so if the power will be 1 minus 1 
and 1 minus 1 mean is equal to lambda power 0 and if the power of the lambda will be 0 so which means that the Marshallian demand function satisfy the property of the homogeneous of degree 0 अब आप कोई भी मशीनरी डिमांड फंक्शन कैलकुलेट करें उसकी इनकम और प्राइसेस को एक सर्टेन लेवल से मल्टीप्लाई करें तो आप यू विल फाइंड दैट कि द मशीनरी डिमांड फंक्शन होमोजेनियस ऑफ डिग्री 0 होते हैं इन द फाइनली वी हैव जस्ट टू मोर प्रॉपर्टीज वेरी वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी लॉजिकल द मशीनरी डिमांड फंक्शन शोस दैट दे आर ऑलवेज डिक्रीजिंग इन प्राइसेस सम कुछ बुक्स इसको इस तरह लिखती हैं कि नॉन इंक्रीजिंग इन प्राइसेस so non increasing कह लेंगे decreasing in prices कह लें that's mean कि जब हम marginal demand function को observe करते हैं तो इसके अंदर price जो है वो आपको पर denominator में है अगर आपकी income वहीं रहती है और price में इजाफा होता है उस commodity की तो definitely when you are income is hundred rupees and price is five rupees and now you are, so that's mean the answer will be hundred divided by five equal to twenty and then the price of the commodity has been doubled that's mean ten so the 100 divided by 10 is equal to only 10. So aapki definitely consumption mein kami aayegi. So the property says that if we are taking the partial derivative of the marginal demand function with respect to the Px, it will be the basically the less than 0. Negative hona chahiye. Aap isa karke bhi dekh sakte hai. And if we are taking the derivative of the partial with respect to so basically what is happening the m alpha over alpha plus beta is all of the constant will go the outside and the derivative of the px will be minus px minus power 2. So the complete term comes in the negative. So it satisfies the property that they are decreasing in prices. Similarly they are increasing in income. So simple. If we are taking the derivative of the Marshall demand function with respect to the income, so ye aapko ek greater than zero, zero figure milegi and the derivative will be the Px. So this is basically a positive term. So very common and very easy to understand that ke Marshall demand function decreasing in prices hote hai or increasing in income hote hai. So these are four properties and most commonly discussed in the literature. So this is all about the marginal demand function and the properties of the marginal demand.